Welcome to the north side of the Uinta Mountains in northeastern Utah. And just a quick video on this fantastic structure here, uh, just above Sheep Creek. This is actually an area known for its geology. It's a part of the Forest Service area that's been set aside as a geologic site, the Sheep Creek Geologic Area. And there's a lovely little road that brings you through this, this amazing uh, labyrinth of rock, different formations. And then one of the capstones, I think, is this great structure we have right here. So thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. I uh, wanted to take this quick video to show you one of the bigger structures here along the north flank of the Uinta Mountains. Uinta Mountains are a large east-west trending uplift, one of the larger east-west uh, trending mountain ranges in North America. And on the north side, you can see one of the structures that's possible, that's, uh, that produced that uplift. And this is the Uinta Fault. And so what you'll see across from us here is a real striking contact between the reddish brown rocks on the left. That's part of the Uinta Mountain group. Those rocks are uh, Proterozoic in age or from the Precambrian about 770 to 900 million years ago. Sandstones, shales, some conglomerates. Uh, you can see the layering in there and all part of the breakup of the ancient supercontinent Rodinia. And so that's what makes up most of the rocks in along the crest and in the central part of the Uinta mountain range. And then juxtaposed against those rocks on the right are a much lighter colored uh, kind of buff to gray unit known as the Madison limestone. And that is a unit that's Mississippian in age, about 350 million years or so ago. And these rocks were deposited at the bottom of the ocean when sea level had inundated most of Western North America. There was a lot of uh, biologic productivity, very rich uh, organic um, situation where there was a lot of uh, reef communities and organisms living in the ocean and in those shallow tropical waters at that time. Um, but you can see some of the structures here. You can see the bedding of the Uinta Mountain group actually kind of rolls over as it's in contact with the fault. And then you can also see some folding here in the limestone, which is oriented nearly vertically or at least steeply here. So just a fantastic view of the Uinta uh, Fault. And then as you look up along the skyline in the distance, you'll see the same limestone unit, but there it's much less uh, steeply dipping. It's more gently dipping off to the north. Drew a quick sketch. Sketches are an important part of doing field work. Um, so a lot of times taking what you see and then putting it into some sort of sketch is a helpful way just to make connections. So this is my simple little west-east connection. So you can see the beds in the Uinta Mountain group kind of bending over, actually overturned in some places along the fault. There's the geometry of the fault that's brought the left side, the west side, with the Uinta Mountain group up and then juxtaposed against the Madison limestone and those steep beds we see on the east side of the fault there. So just a quick little video, a beautiful structure, really cool geologic setting uh, here on the north side of the Uinta Mountains. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.